Slasher's Keep is a dungeon crawler. That's pretty much it. It's a dungeon crawl, a dungeon crawler where uh, you basically have more freedom of movement than you would uh, from like Grimrock uh, per se, or any of the traditional grid-based ones. You still have a grid-based layout for the map, but you have the freedom of moving around however you want. Now, uh, this kind of adds a bit of an actiony feeling to the game, uh, while at the same time some of the combat is a little bit lackluster. But this, but also at the same time, the pairing is really good. It's really kind of a difficult game to figure out. Like it's, it is fun for now, but it's very difficult to see just how much farther in uh, you would need to be to, uh, to till the point to where you basically be, okay, I've pretty much seen everything, I'm pretty much done. Now the game is in early access right now and the reviews are very positive all around. So that's, that's a good sign, right? Uh, for me personally, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's also pretty cheap, $13.99, which is now apparently on the low end of, uh, or leaning towards the the low end uh, of indie game prices. So, so yeah, let's keep all that in mind. I'm gonna show you everything. Uh, I actually stopped at a pretty good location here where I can show you a number of features all at once. But first, let me show you the uh, character creator. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Uh, you have the ability to, you can randomize if you want, just kind of see a little bit of everything. Uh, and you have, well, you only have two, I guess, out of the six so far. I only unlocked one. Uh, and on the, uh, you go to Amazon, you can change it for colors, which is really interesting. Uh, you can uh, go and change the face type, right? All these different faces, you have five of them. Uh, and then over here, you have the male character, the Northerner, uh, and he's got uh, bald, beard, beardy bald, uh, let's see, uh, baldy smooth, uh, Southern Isles, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fran, Franz Joseph, all right. Uh, Mountain Man, uh, Franz Joseph the second, Curly Stash, uh, aka Lindsay Geektron's ex boyfriend, uh, and basically just a whole lot more. Wow, there's 617 actually. Wow, I didn't notice that before. There's 70. How many do we have here? Let's see, uh, five. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> and you have 28 colors here uh, for the Northerner, and for the Amazon, you have 23. That's really weird, but that's okay. And you can change the name up here if you want to, to, you know, basically whatever you want. So I'm gonna go and actually go back because I already have a character going right here, level five, Aldo. And uh, we'll hop in, I'll show you guys some of the, some of the basic gist. I'm, I'm on, I'm on level two, right? But keep in mind, it is procedurally generated roguelike where whenever you die, you get a little bit of persistence where you get to keep some of your stats and some of your loot if you use what's called a loot shoot. And I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm actually stopped right in front of one. Uh, here, it's copying right now. Oh wait, not quite right in front of one. That's a save point. Oh my god, my map reset. I did not realize that would be a thing. I was like, you know what? This is a good place to stop, and I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, everything there is to know about the game. Uh, <laughs> but the map resets. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, well, now uh, let's see if I can remember where everything is. Okay, oh, I see. So the way the game resets everything, that, like that 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 uh, gate just went up here, because initially when I came in here and I fought a bunch of mobs, uh, I was trapped in here. Uh, and so because the entire map essentially just freshly loaded, it wiped my, it wiped all of the triggers, which means there's probably gonna be more, uh, triggers around. There's no traps or anything like that. Well, none that I've seen so far. Um, and the maps are actually fairly small. So here it is. Oh, cool. Made it to the shoot. All right. So here's a shoot. And before I show you that, before I show you that, there's more. Let's take a look at this here. So this is how much money you have. If, if uh, every once in a while you run into a merchant, there's a merchant on this floor. If I could find him before leaving this floor, I will show you. Um, here's all the items I have. Now this is way more than I need. I am I am loaded. I have all kinds of stuff, lots of greens, all that good stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and throw a bunch of this stuff into the chute. So that way, whenever my character dies, which is probably gonna happen during this playthrough, uh, I'll be able to show you guys uh, what it's like when you come up to the other side. There should be a chest right when you spawn and it has basically all your loot inside of it. Um, if you die and you don't have it, then you, it's gone. Uh, also, you can craft by combine, drag and drop combining things. I don't know how that works. I tried dragging and dropping like a bunch of random shit and nothing seems to take, uh, but apparently it's a thing. So got a hilt right here. No, okay. Uh, oops, I messed that up. All right, hold on a second. We have a shaft, a kid's phallic hub. That's, wow, wow, Jesus. All right, I'm guessing we put a gem on the top or something, fiery blows. See, two to four damage for swing, two to five damage. Icy swings probably slows them down, so throw it on top. Nope, okay, nothing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how it works. I've actually, not, yeah, I just not, I have not gotten any of these, uh, uh, any of the combinations of things to work. And I've just been basically clicking on random shit as I pick it up. So it's very possible I just don't have anything. Or I'm doing it wrong. It's supposed to be drag and drop, but I haven't got to the point where the game tells you. There's pop-ups that occur 
uh, you know, tutorial pop-ups that will pop, that will, that will, obviously the pop-ups will pop up, uh, that will show up every once in a while and tell you how to do certain things as you come across them. And nothing has come up so far for the, uh, for combining and crafting. So we'll have to, you know, revisit that. Um, over here, you have a number of slots, you know, head, shoulders, knees and toes and and, and rings and uh, wand and, and your weapon, right? Uh, the uh, down here is basic stats. Anytime you level, you'll be able to actually raise these up. When you die, you lose a percentage of them. So you don't start over from scratch. So you will eventually get more and more powerful to the point that you will be able to basically burn through everything in the first and second floor. And it's basically clear your way through to the end of the game. Um, whatever bosses may lie ahead. Uh, over here, a current quest. I picked up a quest. You might, We might see the guy uh, here. You'll hear him. He basically drones on and on about some quest that doesn't even make sense half the time. Uh, and then he gives you a quest when you when you walk up. And so this is a quest here. Acquired on floor uh, number nine. It says, have three enemies die in a single explosion. I am not on floor nine, by the way. I'm like on floor two or three, maybe. Um, and then over here we have, this is essentially your spell book, all the things that you've unlocked. And they basically level up as you, as you, as you add items that augment them or as you, um, as you level up, then these things will also level up with you. So that's what it seems like anyways. But I do, I do, I do have an item that actually does this, the storm tamer here. Uh, anyways, yeah, I thought it was a tree at first. I was like, kept clicking on things I was like, really? Can we have one ability? No, it's not the case. It seems to be just about everything here. Uh, life steal, I can eat, eat uh, bugs and I'll get some of my, uh, uh, so my mana back. However, when you eat a bug, it also is relatively poisonous. It says there's acidic blood. Uh, you also take damage. So it's kind of like, you know, tit for tat there. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much everything here. You have a toolbar here. So if you have like a bomb or something like that, you can take that throw boop right down there. And you can use that if you want to, which I'll go ahead and leave that there for now. Uh, potions as well. You can throw health potions down there. I should throw this down here like this. And then I'll shot a mana potion. And then my invincibility potion. Throw that down there as well. All right. Oh, wait. I didn't combine that with anything. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this shit out, man. Oh god. Oh, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and drop a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Let's just drop all of it down there. Basically, just make room. And we'll keep all the stupid things that I don't know what to do with yet. Cool. That's it. So that stuff will be there when I die, which hopefully it happens during this playthrough. Or it might not. I don't know. I'll pull out my weapon here. Well, I pretty much destroyed everything. So now, one of the complaints I have about the game there's 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 two actually. Uh, the sway is extreme, man. You're walking around, look at your character. Your character, like, looks, leans to the right, leans to the left, leans to the right. And as you're running around, it kind of gets a little crazy, right? It's okay. Uh, it kind of gets a little bit weird, especially when you start, like, like swinging and everything. And so I had to actually raise the FOV solely because I was getting a little bit of motion sickness when I had it relatively tight. Uh, now, that shouldn't be a surprise if, you're, if your FOV is too tight, then of course it's going to feel like it's, uh, uh, like you're getting motion sickness there. Um, but what's weird is like, it gets all the way down to like, to basically what you would consider to be, um, uh, console FOV, but there's no console controls. Like there's no, there's no, uh, there's a way to control with, uh, with your, uh, uh, controller. So I guess it's up that might be coming later. Um, so yeah, once you're like this, then suddenly this is like nauseating. So, so just keep that in mind if you're someone that gets nauseous easily. Oh, Hey, look at that. We actually found our way right back to the merchant. Cool. Actually, let me change this because I'm already not feeling that at all. That's why I have a FOV slider. So thank you very much. Going back. Okay. Talk to this guy. Hello. Hello. So I could buy stuff from him if I want to. Uh, I could buy, let's see. It requires 10 intelligence. I can't even wear this thing until I get 10, until I get smarter. Um, I could sell him some stuff though. I don't really have anything worth money though. And I don't really want anything he has. So I think we should just go ahead and keep going. Thank you. I'll try not to get myself killed. Appreciate it. Let's, oh, that's a dead end. Make your way back to the end here. That was a little bit of tar right there that I walked through. It's traps, you can walk into those, do damage, or you get a, uh, uh, an enemy to walk into it. That's a wand right there that I've uh, just discarded because I didn't want it. Clutter, that was the second thing. Man, does this game have clutter. Holy crap. Like, just crazy amounts of clutter. You'll see once I walk into a room where there's a bunch of stuff and I start kicking things around. Oh my God, this is a mess. <laughs> let's see i'll make our way over here i believe the exit is i want to get to the exit to the next level show you guys some of the action that room i believe we've already yeah i def definitely cleared like this entire map okay that's a dead end you can see how small the, the map doesn't scroll that is how big the area is so each floor does seem to be uh relatively small you're not really gonna be spending a lot of time on each individual floor 
Oh god, yeah. You can hear him. Listen. And then that shell of his grew darker and green and then red and finally golden. Because, you see, the man was rewarded for his devotion. And now the two stood one before the other as equals. As equals. He stood for, he stood day for days. I've heard this thing so many times. By the way, you can slap things with your bag. Your inventory bag is actually a melee weapon. So it provides a knockback, basically. And there's traps like this. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm here, actually. Look, there's traps. But this room's a dead end, so we're good. We've already completed this. Just a standard, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, four points. Fireball, firing totem that just spins. Bloop. That just rotates every couple seconds. Just a super basic old school trap. Uh, uh, you know, what's funny, the first thing I thought when I saw this game, uh, I don't remember who exactly, oh, I don't think I've been through here. Oh yeah, I have, this is the secret area. Is it gonna tell me it's a secret again? No, it's not. Well, I didn't forget that part at least, thanks. Uh, but when I first saw this game, God, I wish I remember who told me about this game. Uh, that's the way back. I need to go up, not down. <laughs> I will find it, damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be over to the left. Um, the first thing I thought was, wow, this looks a lot like Pathways into Darkness, which is like a really, really, really old, like 1993 or 94, uh, uh, Bungie game. Like, it was basically the precursor to Marathon. Uh, if you watch footage of that, if you're familiar with Marathon the game, which I did a let's play on this, uh, on this channel some years back, uh, then you'll, you'll see the, the, the similarities, you know, basically where the engine came from. Uh, your little brother had, da, 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 da. okay, basically a bunch of stuff. You go back and read it if you want. All right, Dungeon Floor 3, game saved. Oh, oh, there you go. Now, the problem with, ugh, being, ah, no, oh, Jesus. Oh my god, okay, hold on. Invincibility, oh my god, okay, just a few seconds, just a few seconds. That was a parry. Good, man! That was rough! What is this? Uh, sandwich cutter, okay, I'm not gonna bother to pick it up. Basic holding stick. <laughs> stick of holding, okay. Uh, wow, that was, that was a rough intro. Left hand side, you can see I got a few bonuses there. I spammed a whole lot of stuff. So I ended up consuming a lot of crap. Let's see, that stacks, but it doesn't stack by itself, so I'll stack for it. And then the mana, we'll go and put that right down here. I think I ended up cranking out through one of the mana things, even though I didn't need to, because I was reaching for my invulnerability. Warren Chunk, a mace head. <laughs> Let's put it on that. Nope. Well, I mean, shit, I know, basically, it's a holding, it's a shaft, requires level two. Well, I mean, I'm level, like, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how this part works. But it's coming as a hill, hill, oh, there you go. No. <laughs> I don't know how it works, man. Well, that should go right there. See? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's keep moving. I need to die. It's going to happen, too. This guy's got a bunch of shit. Now, the if you ever play Age of Conan, this game has a very simple... Is that a weapon I can pick up? No, that's just for looks. It's on the ground, so you can't pick it up. If you ever play Age of Conan... Uh, you probably remember the combat style that allowed you to actually block and swing in certain directions. You have that ability in this game, which is kind of... <sighs> Alright. Well, this is what I wanted to show you guys anyways. But like I said, you can... Uh, you lost 25% of your money, attribute points, levels, and associated skills. Any items you didn't toss in the item shooter are now gone. Whatever. Oh god, this guy's talking again. Yeah, Jesus. Push it over. Clutter time. Not so bad. Okay, well, we'll put everything back on again. What is this thing? Common mace. This is like a ball. This is footwear. Sure. Uh, this is actually, wow, blue. Can I not put that on? Oh, wait, there's, a, there's a requirement there. I didn't read it. Uh, no, there's no requirements. Requires six dexterity. I have... Huh. Oh, you know what? It's just the blade. Duh. That's why it's blue. I looked at it immediately. Thanks, other games. I looked at it immediately and was like, oh yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a rare. <laughs> okay, so this is where you start. Now, like I was saying, you have the ability to swing uh, in certain directions if you want. You hold this down, right? Powerful swing, and you could whoop to the left. Or you can whoop to the... Oh, that doesn't even work with this weapon. No, it doesn't need to work with this weapon. Huh, interesting. 
Well, and then let's just stab. Okay, so some weapons allow you to swing left and right depending on how you lean. Same thing with parrying. Let's save, model to save, stupid game. All right, how much of my stats are actually? Yeah, so level four, see, this is good. I, I like, still have some stats. You start off with like four, four, and four. So as you can see, uh, it's still good. So it's not, it's not, losing is not a total loss. There is a little bit of progression here. None of these, by the way, have ever like shot out at me. I've been like, every time I walk by one, I expect it to like shoot out and, and impale me. Nothing. Matter of fact, outside of those traps I showed you initially, outside of those traps I showed you initially, there hasn't been really much of anything. Like in terms of traps. Oh man, just instant decapitate. Like, boop. That little explosion never like does anything, by the way. Look at that. See, so I'm already overpowered for this level. Now, let me show you guys what I was talking about earlier about clutter, right? Wow, that's the first time I've ever hit one of those and something popped up. I always skip them. Well, I'm a jerk. All right, so let's say you're coming over here and you're like, oh, cool, there's a bunch of like stuff on the thing here. I'm gonna go pick some up. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, okay. Well, I get. I mean, how do I? Can I get on top of it and get this stuff? Let's see. Can I get it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I look over there and eat it? Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Surely, surely, it'll let me. There it is. See, that's that's silly. <laughs> that is just like astonishingly silly. Uh, to have, these are all food items, food, uh, drink, and it, oh, well, the other thing too, if you spill the drink, it will actually spill. Um, that probably restores mana, I'm guessing. Yep, sure does. That's what drinks do in RPGs. Uh, but yeah, you bump into something, it's like, oh, well, okay. Have fun trying to clean it all up and, uh, and, you know, getting all your, getting everything off of it that you actually <laughs> needed from it. Just makes a mess. So I think, and these are exploding barrels, because it's red, and it's a video game. There it is. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Ooh. Like I said, never been impaled by one of those. I, I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping that there's like a trap or something. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, did I get all these guys? Uh oh, I'm locked in. I still got the boots though. Oh, because of that guy. Well, here, I'll show you how this works then. ADS. <laughs> I'm clearly not leading enough. Oh god, gotta get out of ADS in order to switch. There we go. But I'm I am so powerful right now. Like it's really like I really should just kind of start rushing this whole level here. Look at this guy. See, he's making a mess. All that stuff I could have gotten is gone. But 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 I should note too. There's actually a bunch of stuff on here that you don't want to get. It'll be like moldy food and all that. Look at that. So there that. That's a radish and a golden apple. There we go. I guess we have to break all these now. Nothing. All right. Back back on the nothing train. Oh, hey, look at that. That goes up. Cool. Let's go. Not even going to not even gonna bother clearing the level. I could go back and clear the level later if I wanted to. I could just go through and uh, just turn around and click on this and go back down. Oh, oh, I thought for sure you could do that. I totally assumed you could do that. Oh, God, that's a thing. Oh, God. I thought for sure you could do that because in almost every other dungeon crawler, you could go back and forth if you wanted to. How funny they even put a door there. I guess it's there for aesthetics. Because someone would be like, well, what can't, if there's no door, then where'd you come from? It's going to blow us up. My quest persists? No. I was going to put that on, though. Uh, is that the same as the one I have? Actually, this does more damage. Cool. And we'll just toss this one. See ya. Now, there's one more thing. Really, there's like only one more thing that I can show you. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. One more. Ah, yes, a map. Sweet. Your map has been updated with, uh, oh, with treasure, actually. Interesting. Are these boots any good? Yeah, but their stats might not. Be better than I have. X HP. Yeah, we'll just toss this. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's where I need a silver key to go up. Or actually, in this case, it's not a silver key. It's the button. And this, where they hide buttons. All right, that's not the door that it opened. All right, let's not do that again. So let's do this. Now his blood will hurt you if you step on it. So, you don't want to step on it. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. 
Just gonna cleave through all of this. Oh, this guy is rough. Whoa. Okay, let's pick everything up real quick. And then run out here. And stab this dude. Get this ready. Get this ready. There's a couple dudes. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't have anything. Whoa. Let's see if I can lure these guys in here. Boom! Spike, baby. Oh, was that one time use? Now, you do take damage even if you block, so you gotta get lucky. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, I'm out of mana. Uh, eat, 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 eat all the things. Nope, okay. <laughs> don't eat anything. Jump over that. Alright. Damn it, I don't wanna die twice. Come on. Oh! I guess not all the time. Most of the time, I feel like you take damage whenever you... Okay, good. Whenever you swing on somebody. <gasps> oh, man. Okay, that was close. We made it. There's still one more guy here, but we'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and ditch all this. Ditch all this. Ditch all this. We'll keep the uh, <laughs> the mustache thing. Um, ditch this. Ditch this. It's just taking up space. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Oh, he sh could shoot over the thing. Whoa. There we go. <sighs> all right. Is that weapon any better than the mod I currently have? Uh, more damage, less... Okay, that's actually better. Yes, all around. Toss that. Okay, food. Lots of food. Please, come on, give it to me. God. Yeah, see, it's a, it's a little... It's a little wonky. It's a little wonky. Half the... Half of the mechanics here. See, that's a moldy bread. You eat that, and you'll, you're, you'll uh, take some damage. What does he got? Oh, wow. Scary sharp thing. Sweet. I was like, exactly something, something I need right now. Yeah, okay. What is that? Candle. Can't eat that. I suppose. Let's see. Good. All right, cool. Now we can get. Sneak attack. Nope, no, nope. He's looking at me. But he's going to be super slow going through here. So there we go. I heard a slime. There it is. Does this one shoot stuff? Oh! This one explodes. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, good. Whew! Basic leg armor, all this. Oh, wow, lots and lots of stuff. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Lots of damage done. Uh, what do I currently have equipped? Something I'm willing to trade up for. Scary sharp thing. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Uh, leg armor, sweet. Uh, we'll save the greens. Save the greens because you come across an altar every once in a while, and you could actually give the guy, give the altar things and get bonuses like health and all that good stuff. Mostly consumables, not necessarily like straight up permanent. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I got to spend my points. Hold on. Get your get your clenches. Get your clenches in. I've been doing two on one. Oh God. See, this thing is so slow and so powerful. I'm willing to bet if I was to sneak up on these guys, it would just one-shot them. This room is not a dead end. Oh. Well, here we are again. Let's go out this way and go left. One thing that was a little bit disappointing. Here we go. Ah, damn. Probably two swings then. You see how much damage is difference? It was like triple the damage when you... uh sneak up on him there or I guess just heavy swing on him that was a sneak up uh yeah so one thing I noticed is there's actually not a lot of traps which is really unfortunate like I, I'm sorry uh triggers for things like we already hit a trigger for something right it, it was like glowing oh look we go to the next level awesome boy should I do that right now <laughs> oh man I'm just asking for it I'm just asking for it um let's explore just a little bit more <laughs> just a, just a tiny nah let's go to the next floor let's go level three let's do it level three take whatever ready to swing on people there's somebody in there there's a bunch of dudes in there all right let's go this way first <laughs> oh 
a couple of these guys. Oh, these guys actually do fire. Oh, and the thing door closed behind me. Awesome. Doesn't look like they come down. Oh, there's a orc, orc up there with the thing. Let's run up here. Give him a good swing. Oh, jeez, I hurt. Oh, good. Okay, this I'm going to have to use a wand, which I don't... Oh, God. oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stuck, 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 stuck. Oh, nope. They're coming down to me. Might as well. Ah! Whatever. <laughs> so, so that's, that's the game. Right there's uh, there's more to be found, uh, more to be had as your. Is that a broom? What is this? It is a broom. Unremarkable batterer. Awesome. And it look like a broom. Sure does. Oh no, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a stump on a stick. All right, cool. Stump stump on a pole. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the game. You guys have seen uh, pretty much everything I experienced in the past uh, couple hours. Uh, well, like hour or so. Um, the only thing I worry is what happens when you play an additional five hours. Like, yes, I am now cleave. I can cleave through because of my stats. Well, which are now pretty low because you I took a hit, 25%. I took another 25% hit without leveling enough times to uh, compensate. Um, but yeah, back to level four. Stats are back down 1076. Uh, but yeah, you it is but there is potential that you can you can continue to grow and continue to get more and more powerful to the point where you're able to basically just cleave through the first and second levels maybe in the third, uh, and just kind of cruise your way to whatever. Obviously, it didn't work out as well as I had hoped, but at least you guys get the gist. So, that's it. Notice that the soundtrack hasn't changed at all the entire time. That's one thing. It sounds like something off of the Ghosts uh, uh, compilation, the Nine Snails Ghosts Volumes 1 through 4. It sounds like it totally sounds like something from that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, but... <laughs> But yeah, like it's the visually it's something that it's not going to appeal to a lot of people, right? Well, sorry, it's not going to appeal to everyone, I should say. Not necessarily to a lot of people. Uh, it does look a lot like that old school cell shaded pathways in the darkness style of art. Um, and the gameplay just it just plays like a uh, like a dungeon crawler, but with uh, like an action, an action classic dungeon crawler basically acdc ah man that's the greatest all right slashers keep thirteen dollars 99 cents this is any for breakfast my name is mike b aka phony thank you so much for watching i appreciate it i will see you guys with my heavy swing heavy swing and no contact all right